Hey guys, this is Melissa. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but some of the leaders have been sharing videos this week of struggles that we have encountered through our It Works journey so far. Um, I have to be honest, I'm super excited about this. I am kind of really passionate about sharing my ups and downs with people, not just my ups. I feel like um, we live in a world where it's so easy to just show what we do really well and, <clears throat> you know, that our children are perfect and our house is perfect and our husband is perfect and our marriage is perfect and our business is perfect. And that is obviously not true. Nobody has anything that's perfect. Um, so I'm really excited to share with you one of the um, biggest struggles that I have dealt with over this last year. So I joined in December of 2013. So I've been with It Works for about 14 months. <clears throat> I have a cold, so forgive me. Um, <clears throat> And I kind of just hit the ground running. I, I promoted really fast. I went ruby my first month. Um, I went diamond my second month. And I went double diamond my third month. And that was super exciting. I worked really hard for it. I kind of um, just stopped living my life <laughs> for that period to do that. But it was worth it. But then around the time that I was promoting to double diamond, um, I went through a really hard personal thing. My sister was suicidal. And um, I'm very close to my sister, but she lives about two and a half hours away. And so I just, I spent a lot of time at her house. She spent a lot of time at my house. Uh, you know, I was helping with her kids. Her husband worked, so couldn't just take off all of this time, but she wasn't safe to be alone. Um, and it was probably one of the hardest things emotionally that I've ever gone through. I really struggled with being afraid through that time. And then she got better, um, but I didn't. <laughs> I was just kind of left in this weird funk, like not sure how to recover from such a scary emotional time. And that just kind of followed me into the summer. And, um, and then that followed me into the fall. And around the end of summer, um, before or early fall, I had in about a month, I had five significant leaders on my team quit without any warning. I had no idea that any of them were going to be quitting. Um, and it was the combination of where I had been emotionally with my sister. Um, I was starting to feel a little bit better from that. Um, it just kind of knocked me over. And I struggled a lot with wondering um, why, what had I done? Not not that they left me, but how did I, I clearly wasn't a good enough leader because they were all on the brink of, you know, just getting in, like some of them were um, almost emerald. All of them were at least a solid ruby and some of them were like a really, really solid ruby. And, um... And so I, I felt like it obviously was my fault that I had not been a good enough leader. So then I really questioned myself, and I was looking at my team, and I realized that uh, none of, nobody on my team was had hit diamond yet, and, um, and I wondered why. What had I done as a leader to not help my team, um, any of my teammates, get to diamond? Because I had some really great workers. And um, that just really messed with my head. Um, and as they quit, obviously my volume started to drop. And um, so every month from about August, um, or actually probably July of last year through the end of the year, my volume just dropped more and more. And I just kind of let my, I just, I didn't fight for it. Um, I was like, well, I guess this is what happens. I, you know, worked really hard and I thought I had some people who were doing this with me and they're not. And so I guess that my paycheck will just go down. And um, I, I, I had already chosen that I was a lifer, like I'd already decided that I wasn't going to quit. Um, but something I have discovered is that you can choose not to quit, but that doesn't mean that you are engaged. So like I can be married and I can stay married for my whole life, but that doesn't mean I have a good marriage. That doesn't mean um, that I'm a good wife. It just means that I'm married and I haven't quit that. I can be a mom and not be a good mom. You know, I can be a mom for my whole life and never walk away from my kids, but not ever be necessarily a, a good mom if I'm not engaged. And so it's there, you have to be intentional. And so around Thanksgiving, I realized that I was like, man, my, my uh, volume has dropped so much. And I just kind of felt not a lot of excitement in my team. And I knew that I, that stemmed from me because um, I wasn't excited, even though I loved our products and I loved our opportunity. <clears throat> and I hadn't stopped working I just wasn't being very intentional. I definitely was not fighting for it. So I remember at Thanksgiving, we had a BOGO sale, and I realized I, I have to fight for this. If I don't fight for this, I am going to lose all of this that I have worked hard for. And I believe that God had a plan for me here, um, be above and beyond financial. I believe that he wants to use me, and he wants me to be good news to people. And um, I know that other people have been amazing news to me, and he wants them in my life. 
And so I realized that I had to make a choice. You know, I could not quit and just stay here stagnant, or I could fight. Um, so in November, I fought, and my my uh, volume went up quite a bit in the last couple months of, or the last couple days of the month, because I was fighting using the BOGO sale and talking to people, and my team my team was doing that. Um, and December and January tend to be like the worst volume months, is my understanding, and they uh, they weren't too bad for me considering where I had been. Um, <clears throat> I didn't want to stay there, but they weren't too bad. So anyways, I um, and then I went to conference in January, and I've heard the conference is a life changer, and I knew that it was going to be great. Like, I was excited to go, but I can't even stress how much of a life changer it was. Being able to see our company work um, right in front of your face, watching watching the leaders of our of our company right in front of your face, hearing their words in your own ears instead of just through even, you know, like YouTube or whatever, is... It is life changing, um, and I it lit a fire in me that I did not even realize that I could have anymore. Um, I started messaging people for my check chicken list at conference, and I came home and already had meetings lined up and parties lined up, and and that um, that excitement came home to my team. I had a few other teammates there, and they they were excited and. Um, the, my teammates that were at home that couldn't come, I encouraged them to really plug in and watch and, you know, just pay really a lot of attention and their excitement grew. And in the last month, um, my team has signed 30 distributors. And if you would have told me in October or November or even December of this last year that this is where my team would be now, I would, I would not have believed you because I didn't, I couldn't imagine how that was going to happen. Um, so basically you have two choices. Uh, oh, you have a few choices. You can quit obviously, if things get hard. Um, but even if you choose not to quit, even if you promise you're not going to quit, you can still just stop moving. And stopping moving is, I think, in some ways, almost more defeating than quitting. Because when you just stop moving, everyone else keeps going ahead. You're standing there watching them move, and you're just standing there. Um, so I really encourage you that if your team falls apart <laughs> and you have to rebuild, that is part of this business sometimes. Not everybody experiences that. But if you do, you're not the only one. And the exciting thing is, is that my team that has rebuilt has rebuilt stronger and more excited. Like there is so much excitement on my team. My husband just joined Facebook about two months ago and he's like, I can't even handle all the excitement. He's like, I don't know how you sleep every night. He's like, I can hardly sleep because there's just so much excitement going on. Um, so stick with it. Don't give up. Um, even if you choose not to quit, don't go stagnant. Make yourself fight for this because it is so worth it.